Hello friends, my name's Melly, also known as Melody here on YouTube, and I have another fun little video today. I have another model kit that I want to show you guys because it is my Pokemon figure week. I'm very excited for it because I love these so, so much. So yeah, I'm going to show that off. I have a few packs that I'm going to open. They include one Pokemon Sword and Shield pack, one Rebel Clash pack, and one Darkness Ablaze pack. So I'm going to get all of these open. And I'm also going to be showing off a Pokemon and Bandai model kit featuring Rayquaza. So this is a really cool one. It was actually quite fun putting it together. So... Yeah, really happy with that one. Um, and then I have a giveaway active on my channel. I was going to announce the winner of that today, but I'm actually going to be extending it to announce the winner on Monday. So everyone has an extra couple of days if they'd like to enter. And all you have to do is check out Monday's video that has all of the information. Also, I'll be sure to link that video in the description below for you guys in case you want to check it out. But first... Let's get started with these packs. I'm going to start with this one and then work my way through them. Here is the first pack with Snorlax on the front. Oh boy. And just so you know, all of the online codes that I do get today are going to be saved for future giveaways. And for the first few months of the year, I am going to be doing a giveaway every single week. So yeah, I'll be announcing a new one on Monday. Okay, we are starting this one out with a Grass Energy. We've got Reboot, Sudowoodo, Hop, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, a Reverse Holographic Reboot, and last but not least is a Turtonator. Next we'll do the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash pack with Toxtricity on the front. I was actually going to open a couple Japanese packs today, but I decided that I'm going to save most of those for next week and the coming weeks. And here we go. Um, actually looking at some of these cards, some of them have damage on the edge here, so hopefully it didn't truly mess with the cards. But we are starting out with a water energy. Skun Tank. Full heal. I think this was one of the ones. Yeah. No, just the edge is messed up. Looks like the rest of the card's fine, though. We've got a Sonia, Caterpie, Barboach, Aracuda, Stuffle, Lotad, a Reverse Holographic Butterfree, and last but not least is a Holographic Galarian Cursula. It's so colorful. Here's the last pack for today. And then, of course, we have the awesome model kit to talk about. Okay, this time we're starting out with a lightning energy. Powerful energy, soul rock, steeny, vanillite, trapinch, teddy ursa, pansier, morlo, a reverse holographic shenotic, and last but not least, is a talon flame. So from today's packs, I did get a few cards that I do get to add to my collection, along with a couple of reverse holographic cards that aren't rare and rares that aren't holographic, but I do love them all just the same. And then I get these guys. The first of which is a reverse holographic Butterfree, and secondly is a holographic Galarian Cursula. But now friends, let's talk about this. So once again, as I said, many times before. This is a Pokemon and Bandai model kit that features Rayquaza, and it looks really cool. It has this lovely artwork on the front, and honestly, it looks actually pretty similar, so that's cool. The box does also state that no tools, glue, or paint are required, and I would say that you do need a couple of tools, but the glue and paint, not needed. The first tool that you might need are some of these, some plastic cutters, also known as nippers. Um, I call them nippers. Everyone I know calls them nippers, but they're plastic cutters, so yeah. You also need a file or sanding block of some sort so that you can file down nub marks. I like this one because you can use it for your nails or you can use it for parts, so it's great. 
as was with Lucario and Riolu, this does have a lovely little instructional booklet that is two-sided, so lots of good instructions. Once again, they're all pictures, so it's really easy to figure out what you need to do if you've never built these before. This box only had a tiny sticker sheet, but it did also only have a total of four runners, so not too, too many. Not a, not a ton of parts that you have to worry about working with, so that was also very nice. And here he is. He is my little snack buddy, and I love him so much. <laughs> so like all of them, he does have a stand. It's this. It's just it's like hollow at the bottom, and it's made to look like little clouds that he can rest on. Um, it would be great, but you have to have him in like specific position for it to actually like stay on this. For instance, you may like him being in this position, but the moment you put him in, he just kind of falls over. He does have a lot of moving pieces. Um, his tail moves around completely, like all of these move around however you want them. Also, his little arms do move. I, <laughs> for once, I actually didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, his arms do move and also his jaw moves like that so he can open and close his mouth and it's really cute. <laughs> I think the colors are really nice. The movement is amazing. It doesn't have any of the parts that move together, like Lugia, when you move its wings, its head will move, or vice versa. This just moves all over the place, so you can style it however you'd like, and I think that's really cool. So this might be one of my favorites. And it was honestly really easy to build, because you just build all of the individual parts, and then yeah snake them all together. My major complaint is just the stand. I feel like they could have done a better job of making a stand for him. But besides that complaint, I don't really have any. He was really easy to work with. It was actually pretty easy to get rid of nub marks. I will take this off and give him a little spin spin. There he is back with his little Pokemon family, and it looks just so cute. But this was a fun little week because I got to build some figures, I got to talk about them, and I thought it was a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed it, I'd love for you to leave a big thumbs up down below, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon-themed content. But I also hope you have a lovely, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one on Monday. Bye, friends!